My wife and I are blessed that Guam is home for our five Take Care Insurance has launched a media blitz this week, a wealth of ads on local stations, interviews with island reporters for the first time since the controversy began. The January decision by the GMH board to terminate Take Care's direct payer agreement by March 20th. GMH attorney Tom Fisher had explained at that time that Take Care had an unreasonable pattern of denying coverage. They were denials, but they were denials because they either were not eligible Take Care enrollees, they have uh, maxed their benefits, meaning to say if they had a, a, a maximum benefit of $100,000 or something like that, they would have reached that max ceiling, or what services were performed at the hospital were non-covered benefits. Because of what Fisher said was Take Care's pattern of denial, GMH, he argued, was stuck with the bills, more than a million dollars in the last three months of 2011 alone. To the contrary, we've been one of their best payers. Um, you know, the, the facts of the Calvo transition report bear that out. Um, Senator Pangolinan, in his response, um, bears that out. The hospital's own data um, bears that out. I think um, Take Care or GMH's accounts receivable are routinely incorrect. And because of Take Care's record of payment, the GMH board's decision to terminate and collect from individual patients has puzzled Take Care and to push us to, the, or our members, to the self-pay category um, it really makes no sense. You know, why they did this, I, I, I don't know. Larson is hopeful that the board will now accept the compromise worked out with acting administrator Ray Vega because, he argues, Take Care and the hospital need each other. I think the facts bear out the um, decision may have been, um, you know, misinformed and, and um, uh, inappropriate, um, but we, we are hopeful that it, it will get resolved. I think, um, you know, GMH is in a fragile situation. Uh, clearly, um, we, we stand to be able to help and support them in some way. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.